love jihad conspiracy theory disproven by new government data. In a, a recent study by the Indian national government demystified the narrative of quote unquote love, love jihad peddled by Hindutva figureheads. Part of ha! The, so, we told, yeah. like, can we say we told you, so, is it too early right now to, in the, for us to say we told you so? Well, so let many me tell people... you what we okay. learned and then you can say okay. I told you so. Okay, Part of the so-called love jihad conspiracy theory involves the idea that the Hindu majority status in India is threatened due to higher birth rate um, birth rates among Indian Muslims. According to this conspiracy theory, once Muslims become the dominant demographic in the country, they will turn India into an Islamic nation. However, recent data published by India's Ministry of Health and Family Wel Welfare debunks this narrative. According to the recent release of the National Family Health Survey, or NFHS, which covered 2019 to 2021, the Muslim fertility rate has declined in the last six years. Although the figure published by the NFHS indicates that Muslim birth rates in India are higher than the national average, the trend shows that the number is steadily declining. According to Pew Research in 2021, although the birth rates across different religion gr religious groups in India are declining, the number of Muslim children born is falling faster than the number of Hindus. Uh, Shahabuddin Yaqub Qureshi, the former chief election commissioner of India, said in his book called the population myth, quote, it's clear as daylight. The idea that Muslims will become India's biggest community is a total hoax. Okay, so w w demographically, the Hindus first. Okay, so can I now say I told you so? Is that the time? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, thank you. I told you so. Like, okay, by the way, this tells you that people <laughs> in the live chat, they keep telling us like, no Armin, no Suzy, you don't understand. We're in India. We're Indian. You're wrong. We're saying this underground. We live here. So you don't talk about things that you don't understand. Guess what? Even though you're there, even though we're here, we understand India better than you, even though you're India. So congratulations. We understand your country more than you do. All right. So there's that. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. So there. Here's I just had to. I just had to. Add this. But OK, but with this, does this study. By this study, did the um, Hindus are going to take over India when? Completely? So, okay. So the infamous Yati uh, Narsinghanand, he was the really infamous hate preacher, like toxic, hateful priest that got arrested in um, for his hate speeches calling for genocide. So here, here's an example of this kind of attitude. Here's a quote from him. Um, uh, Yati Narsing Yati Narsing Handanand had a stark warning for India's one billion Hindus: produce more children or prepare to live in an Islamic state. Quote: The way their Muslims' population is increasing, there will be a Muslim prime minister in 2029. Declared the extremist priest at a religious conclave last month. Once that happens, 50% of Hindus will have to undergo religious conversion, and 40% will be killed. That's what he thinks. Yeah. So, like, they're worried that this is happening at such a rate that they'll, the, like, takeover is imminent. Like, it's coming, like, 2029, according to this guy. Right. Um, so, okay, with regards to that, Oxymoron is saying, how does this disp disprove love jihad? Uh, not are the organized attempts of love jihad or not? Okay, and then PK, I don't know how, I don't think well, that sentence was. Well, the, let me say, PK is saying love jihad really doesn't exist, though there can be a few cases. Yes, the conspiracy, I, yeah, the, go on, you go. So part of love jihad is like, there, there's like two flavors to it, I've noticed. One is kind of like the, oh, there's this, you know, they're coming after Hindu girls, and then they're going to co-opt them into Islam and then force them to have all these Muslim babies. But it it feeds into a, the other flavor of it, and they kind of blend together, is basically like this replacement theory. No, that so, is, no, 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 hold on. Um, the love jihad conspiracy theory is that there's a replacement theory happening, okay? Because if people, when you t when you tell people, well, that's ridiculous, that's not happening, okay? They come like, well, here's some examples. 
I mean, what do you mean here are some examples? It's a country of a billion people. I'm sure everything is happening. I'm sure the most random thing that you can't think of, imagine uh, that is happening. If I, I'm pretty sure you're going to find an example of it happening somewhere in India. Of course, there's going to be examples for whatever thing, whatever you want to come up with. Okay, um, we're talking about love jihad is a conspiracy that this is happening to the point where demographics are changing and there's an active, um, you know, conspiracy to ch to change the demographics of Indo India in a massive way that you know that replaces India Indians Hindus with Muslims to the point where even a Muslim is going to be the prime minister or something like that. That's what they're that's what we're talking about, and that's obviously ridiculous. That's the love jihad conspiracy. Not that oh yeah there there was this one event somewhere over there or there's another event somewhere over there. Okay, so like yeah, that's the conspiracy. There there are aspects of it that are distinct, but they have the general blend, a general flavor or emphasis on demographic engineering, demographic, demographic yeah. shifting, demographic replacement. This is one thing that's in common. So let me give you some more statistics. The latest National Family Health Survey shows that the Muslim fertility rate dropped the most among all communities between 2015 through 2016 and 2019 through 2020, and now stands at 2.36, almost half of the figure, 4.4, from three decades ago. The rates have dropped almost in, by half in the past 30 years. Well, that it is still the um well, that is still the highest among all religions in India. The gap between it and the Hindu fertility rate, 1.94 is shrinky. Hindus, you're catching up. <laughs> um, the latest statistics corroborate findings from the Pew Research Center last September based on older data. Um there was another piece of stats that I wanted to find. Um yeah, I just thought that this was very interesting. And one thing that's important to note is that part of this is because modern contraception of use among Muslims has increased dramatically. 66% um, uh, of Muslims use like birth control of some kind now. Um, and when it came to um, the big disease that was going around, like the WHO had this massive report that exposed how, um, well, they believe that 4 million more Indians died than what the government reported. There's a very obvious cover-up going on of the government. And, you know, so the, the Indian government shot back at the WHO trying to discredit them and all this stuff. But this is going to be a lot harder to shrug off and disprove, given that this is coming from your own ministry. You know, um, and but do I think this narrative is going to go away? Of course not. Of course not. It's very politically convenient. They need it. Um, Oxymoron is saying rate drop does not mean the rates are lower to catch up. I don't know. I think your sentences are not structured in a way lower to catch up. I don't know what the sentence means. I don't Do you understand? understand? Yeah. Okay. I think it's, maybe fix the grammar before you post it so we could understand what you're saying. Um, oh, here, PK is saying, yeah, um, the TFR is still higher, but to be to be fair, it's conver converging with other groups. Okay, guys, like you don't understand. Yeah, if the rate is dropping, that means things are trending in the wrong direction that a great replacement theory would suggest. Okay, we're not saying that the great rates, uh, yeah, the rates might still be lower than the other ones, right? But the conspiracy theory would not make any sense if it's moving in the wrong direction. That's the point. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.